let's film. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna do like a quick, easy, get ready with me. This coffee is a day old. Um, yeah. It was free coffee Wednesday yesterday. Anyway, this is Autumn. Say hello. No, okay. So I've been feeling really sick. I've been having to like figure out distance learning and um, also on campus learning. We're doing both now. So also I've been trying to grow out some bangs that I regret cutting now. But anyway, we're gonna do some fun makeup look because I haven't filmed in forever. I'm gonna take these off. All right, Autumn might cry throughout this, but we're gonna work with what we got. I have this horrible headache. I've had like sinus and stuff going on. It's not, it's not Corona, um, but I just, I just don't feel good because I don't know, headaches, man. So I'm gonna start with this wet and wild. Is this gonna focus or are you not gonna focus? I'm gonna start with this wet and wild stick foundation and it's in a darker shade and I'm gonna kinda use that as a contour. Hit my bangs, hit my life. How are you guys doing? Hopefully better than I am. All right, I, I clip that again. That's good, right? We're looking good. And I'm gonna take this Wet n Wild concealer. And this one is in the shade uh, Light. I'm gonna put that here. I'm gonna try to lift my eye. We're gonna blend it in with this damp beauty blender. It's been super hot. And I don't like the heat. I've been feeling nauseous. Um, am I pregnant? Probably not. Do I wanna know? Not really. Um, like, do I want to know what's wrong? Not really. That's what I meant by that. I'm gonna take these two. I'm gonna mix them because together they make like the perfect shade for me and the perfect like finish, if that makes sense. This one's a little bit too greasy or dewy, and this one's a little bit too dry on its own. So when you mix them, it does the trick together, and it also creates like a good color. Um, yeah, and since I don't have any acne right now, I'm just going to go ahead and apply it straight to my face. I don't like the lid on that. I'm going to put that there, just a little, just a tad. This one obviously is a little lighter, but it works, it works. Just wait. To make sure it looks good in the camera as well as like in the mirror because if it doesn't look good in the camera you guys are gonna think that I don't know what I'm doing which let's be honest but this elf HD powder it's the, just like the translucent one it has no shade um, I'm gonna take the same beauty blender that autumn likes to chew and eat I'm gonna put it right here no Oh, that's a lot. That is a lot. What are you doing, Des? What are you doing with your life? We're gonna bake today, apparently. I don't think I'm gonna do my eyes. I'm gonna do my eyebrows and I'm gonna take this Lime Crime. This was sent to me forever ago, but it still works. It does what I need it to do for now. Um, Also, like, you guys know that I shaved half of my eyebrow off. Um, it always grows back. Like, don't be afraid. If you want to try something new, just try something new. Then I'm going to take my e.l.f. brow pomade. And then I'm going to take an Aveda 
Veda. Am I a Veda? Am I glitching? Somebody needs to reset the s simulation. Reset. I'm gonna take my Aveda number no. seven brush and it's just like a double-ended eyebrow brush. And I'm gonna brush again, even though we just brushed. And I'm gonna, you know, dip into this, dip into it. And I'm only gonna really put this on the edge or like the outer part of my eyebrow because my eyebrows don't need too much filling. Ah, look how cute. Like, I feel like I just did my eyebrow right for once. This eyebrow isn't as good. This one is just not, this one's never, this one didn't go to college. This one didn't do anything good with its life. Um, so we're gonna try. Almost as good as that one's gonna get. I'm not going anywhere anyway. If it was Tuesday, it was a different story because I'm gonna start Clinic Floor on August 4th and I don't know if I'm ready. So if you guys don't know what Clinic Floor is, Aveda does like different phases for your education. Um, and you don't really start to take guests until you really get the fundamentals down which I like about Aveda because they don't just like throw you out into the world and watch you mess people up. Like you're actually like ready and trained. But anyway, I'm starting clinic floor soon. And um, I don't know, I don't know how to feel about it. Also, we have model days coming up. Your girl has had one other model day and it was with Matt. Matt was my model for foil highlights. Um, we did partial foils on him. Great time, fun times, but like I'm terrified. Also I have to find models and I don't have friends or family and that's my life. Um, but anyway, let's move on. Our eyes, I'm gonna take this sultry palette and um, I'm just gonna do like something easy. I'm gonna take the shade of Birch, which is like a orangey toned brown, and I'm gonna take this brush, the Aveda number no. six. You guys have seen it enough times to know. And I'm just gonna put that like in the crease area and create a shape. I'm gonna take Twig, which is a cooler toned light brown. And then I'm gonna just kind of put it right into the crease with the same brush because less brushes to clean. As you can see, it just kind of creates a little bit more depth and it works. I'm gonna take this Aveda number eight brush and then I'm gonna go ahead and dip into the Rose Quartz shade, which is just the shimmery pinkish shade. And I'm gonna put that on the lid. Then I'm gonna go ahead and dip into Pearl, which is a lighter highlight shade in this, and I'm gonna put it right in the um, inner corner. I can't speak today. Moving on, just to add a little bit more, you know, look like I'm not dead, I'm gonna go back in with Birch and Twig, and I'm gonna mix them together on this number six brush. Put it under on my lower lash line. Using my finger, I'm just gonna take fresh and highlight my brow bone. We're good, we're good, right? I'm gonna go ahead and line my eyes using this lovely little thing by e.l.f. I think it's backwards, but we're okay. Let me turn it. And we're just gonna do a nice little wing. I 
All right, that's good. That's good enough today. I'm gonna take this Wet n Wild Mega Length. Is it gonna focus? I'm gonna take this Wet n Wild Mega Length um, mascara. I don't do the waterproof kind because that one, I have sensitive eyes. Makes me sound like a baby, but. It's a pretty good mascara, and I think it was like $2. Oh, I mean. Alright, now we're back. I put it on my top and bottom lashes. If I cared enough, I would probably you know, put some false lashes on, but we're not doing anything, we're not going anywhere, so, you know. I'm gonna use this, like, old-ass Smashbox uh, trio that I got as, like, a, a Sephora prize thing. Um, I'm gonna use the highlight shade as just a setting powder. I know I already, like, set my face with the translucent powder, but just in case. I don't know why, but, um... Actually, I do know why. I live in Arizona. It's hot. I don't know about you guys, but it's like 100 degrees out. So I need something to really set the stuff. And then I'm going to take the bronzy contour shade. Just kind of go over where I went over with the cream one underneath the... It's called the foundation, and I'm just gonna do that. And then over here, and over here, right there. And then I'm gonna go in with my Elf Sun Kissed Bronzer Primer Infused. And I'm gonna take this Aveda Number no. Nine brush. It's got a little pink in it, but we're good. I'm just gonna kind of use this more as like a bronzer as opposed to a contour. All right, I'm gonna take this Wet n Wild shade in Bare It All, which is just like a nice little pinky nude, and then I'm gonna do my lips, clearly. All right. So that is my quick, easy summer glam. Um, I obviously don't do this every day, but sometimes it's just nice to get ready. It gives you something to do. Um, yeah, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you guys did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and follow me on Instagram if you guys want to keep up. Also, follow me on Instagram because that's where you'll see a lot of like my hair work and stuff like that. But until next time, my hair is not doing well. I need toner someone buy me toner send some toner anybody want to sponsor me um anyway i'll see you guys in the next video bye mm, these bangs man i really messed up when i cut these bangs it's too hot i'm eating the beauty blender it's not good it's just not good some people have dogs. I have a baby that eats a beauty blender. We all live different lives. We all just live different versions of the same life, actually. Just listen.